What's up, everybody? It's surreal. Coming to you from the Small Fry Show. And on this video, I'm gonna do something I ain't done in a while. I used to do the, I did it a couple times back when I was doing Tanker. I'm gonna record this in the dark. I'm home, I'm getting ready to go out for the day. So I want y'all to just really listen to me versus seeing what's going on like normally during the week in the truck and stuff like that. So um, I made it to the gym yesterday. We're going to talk about that. But before we get too deep in this thing, you already know what I need you to do. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come join the family. We ain't gotta talk about the views and topics because we ain't talking about trucking and stuff today. Trucking stuff today. We'll take a break from that. So, I made it to the gym yesterday. Um, I did 65 minutes on the treadmill. It was it was my first day back in the gym in a while, you know, probably a couple years. Um, it was good, but it, it hurt at the same time, but a good type of hurt. So, um, I started out like, the speed on two, no incline. I ramped it up to like 2.7. I would go as far as I can go till I got tired, then ramp it, ramp it back down, catch my breath. So just um, every step counts. And I actually had started Sunday. Saturday night was my first sugary drink. Stop was my last sugary drink. No sweets. So I actually did good this week. I did have a dessert at dinner last night. Um, but I didn't get this way overnight, so it's not going to come off overnight. And I'm really trying to figure out what works, what don't put the effort in at the same time. Um, so I'm not going to beat myself up too bad. It was a successful week. I started packing my lunch this week, um, which in retrospect, packing my lunch helps, helps me that I notice um, not scramble so much, especially running at night. Um, at night, you may get a little tired, you get bored. A lot, a lot of my night eating is boredom, you know, and, and having access to stop. So I took that need to stop away by packing my lunch, a healthy lunch. Now, I did have like lunch meat sandwiches. I got the lunch meat from the deli instead of the packaged stuff, which I get it. Um, I did have bread as well, but like I said, I'm not trying to hit a home run on the first swing. I'm more so trying to figure out what works and what don't. So I have fresh fruits, um, pepperoni sticks, things like that, that where I can slowly transition and figure out what my body wants and what don't I had I had water all week. Even at dinner last night, I had water. Um, didn't have not one sugary drink all week. And we went to the store yesterday and I picked up the vitamin water, one vitamin water to try. Um, so I'm gonna try that, see what, uh, what flavors I like, which ones I don't. Um, and like I said, just kind of build on, um, build on the momentum that I'm, that I'm gaining into the good thing. Um, hold on y'all, one second. I'm back. The good thing about my work schedule is there's there's a a 24 hour gym across town, and then um, the gym that's closest to my home and to my job. My job is right down the street from my house. Um, it opens at 6 a.m. So a lot of times <clears throat> I'm not even getting back to the yard till 4:45, 5 o'clock. You know, still got to break the set, fuel, turn paperwork in, clean windows, things like that. So by the time I get everything done, um, by the time I get everything done, it's close to six and get to the gym and get changed. The gym will be open. So I'm hoping on days where that I'm not as tired, that I can do that. I, I noticed yesterday, 
uh, my Thursday night to Friday morning run. That was my plan. I packed my bag. I said, hey, when I get off, I'm going to go to the gym. But what happened was they changed my run. They didn't change my run, but normally I stop and pick up freight. This time I didn't because I'm kind of slow right now. So where I would have stopped and picked up freight, I didn't. And so that made me get back to the yard at like 345. If I get into the yard at 345, there was the gym across town that was 24 hours, but honestly, I was tired. So I said, I'm gonna go home, lay down. And I was a little, I was a little hard on myself initially. I was, I'm not gonna sit here and say I wasn't because I, I, I was like, man, I made that, that commitment to go. And I'm already like not coming through with what I said. But I went home. I went to, I went to bed for like I went to bed from like probably like 4:30 or 5 o'clock till like noon or something like that. 12:30. So I slept good. But once I slept, I got up and I said, okay, you know what? We going to the gym. We said we going. We didn't know when we said we was going, but we we gonna still go on this day. So so maybe you know in the end of the week I may need to come home go to bed, then get up and go because by the end of the week my run is so long and I'm chasing freight every night. I'm more out. At the end of the week I'm 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 pooped man. So maybe on Fridays I'll just come home go to bed. And then get up and go like I did, and it was cool, you know. Like I said, I was proud of myself that I made it um, and whatnot. So this journey is just beginning. Um, it's going to be a good journey. I'm encouraged. I feel great, uh, even though it's only been not even a full week yet. I don't feel as sluggish. My stomach don't feel as bloated, and my, overall, my energy is great. Um, it's crazy. I've just been kind of reading up and watching videos on the fact that, like, all that sugar has on your mind and your clarity and just your, your overall, like, your cognitive benefits. And just, it's crazy because I like those body armor drinks, man. Like, I like donuts and things like that, too. Don't get me wrong. But I like those body armor drinks, man. That's my issue. I could like the blue rat blueberry raspberry or blue raspberry, whatever it is, that and the pineapple coconut. I could literally drink that all day. Now I would still drink my water and stuff like that, but those things are loaded with sugar and carbs. And we all know that's bad for you. So I'm just learning to get moving. Um weather's broke now, starting to break. I park in the back of the parking lot at work. Um it's a car. Same as truck, so I want to uh, bring y'all along this journey with me and take this journey together. So it's gonna be good days, bad days, and in 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 middle of the road days. But we're gonna make sure that we make it because we want to succeed long term, and we want to come up with a plan that we can stick to. And that's actually going to work. I'm not trying to get not get rich quick per se. I'm trying to get the weight off, keep it off, because health is wealth. You can make all the money in the world, you can have the greatest job and all that stuff, but if you ain't here to enjoy it with your family and your kids and yourself, it don't matter. So that's today's video. But as always, make sure you arrive to your pickup and your delivery on time and safely. Call your loved ones, tell them you love them. Love on somebody today. But most importantly, be the reason that somebody smiles today. The world needs it now more than ever. It's Sir Mel coming to you from the one and only Small Fry Show, and I'm out. Peace.